In this video, we construct exponential objects in the category of bouquets. Recall that by Yoneda, there is a copy of the category B in the category of pre-sheaves on B, where the representable on V is a vertex and no loops, and the representable on L is a terminal object with one vertex and one loop. Since products in a category of pre-sheaves is constructed at the level of figures, we have the product of y, v, and w as a container with the same set of vertices as w, but with no loops. And since y, l is a terminal object, the product of y, l, and w is w. And this is true in any category with finite products. For example, if w is the bouquet with two flowers, one with no petals and the other with two petals, the product of morphisms y, l, and the identity on w is the inclusion of vertices. Recall that precomposition by this morphism is the right action by L in the exponential object when W is in the exponent. Let's look at one example to see how to construct an exponential in the category of bouquets. Let W be a bouquet with two flowers, one with two petals and the other with none. And let Z be the bouquet with three flowers, the first with one petal, the second with two petals, and the third with none. The morphism of the product, y, l, and the identity on w, is the inclusion of vertices. Since there are nine morphisms from the product of y, v, and w to z, there are nine vertices in the exponential z to the w, which we denote by ordered pairs of the set of vertices in z. So for example, the vertex b, c represents the morphism which takes 0 to b and 1 to c. We now need to compute the set of petals and the right action by l. The vertex AA maps the vertices 0 and 1 both to A. Since A has only one petal, there is only one morphism from W to Z which maps 0 to A. Therefore there is one petal at AA corresponding to this morphism. It is easy to see that in this first row there is precisely one morphism whenever 0 is mapped to A for the same reason. Then in the second row, when 0 is mapped to B, we have four choices where we can map the petals alpha and beta to. Hence, each of these flowers have four petals. Finally, if the vertex 0 is mapped to C, there are no morphisms from W to Z, since the vertex C in Z has no petals. Therefore, the bouquet Z to the W has 9 flowers and 15 petals or loops. Since the number of morphisms from W to Z is the number of petals in Z to the W, there are 15 morphisms from W to Z. But this is obvious because of the fact that the product of y, l, and w is isomorphic to w, and so we had to count the number of morphisms to construct the petals in the first place. A general formula for the construction of the exponential object, which may be a bit overkill, but will give you an idea at how one may approach an algorithm for such a construction. If you're given bouquets w and z, we denote the set big Z evaluated on little z as a set of petals alpha such that the boundary of alpha is z, and similarly for w. Then the set of vertices in z to the w is the exponent zv to wv taken in the category of sets. The set of petals is the coproduct indexed by the set of vertices in z to the w of the product indexed by the vertices in w of z on f to the w to the w little w, with the action by projection to the coproduct index for its L action. So in the example above, the number of petals in z to the w is the sum of nine products indexed by nine vertices in z to the w, where each term has two factors indexed by the vertices in w, and where in each factor is the exponent of z f to the w to the w of w. Careful calculation shows that this sums to 15 petals where the terms give you the number of petals on each flower. If we instead view the category of bouquets as a category of set maps where a morphism is a commuting square where the left and right sides of this square are the objects of the category and the top and bottom horizontal maps represent the morphism, then the vertices of an exponential object are the number of maps possible in the bottom level of a commuting square and the number of petals are the number of lifts of this map. So for example, the pedal gamma lambda in z to the w corresponds to the commuting square where the map gamma lambda lifts the map bb along the maps corresponding to w and z.